Hey guys, welcome to Logical Humor. Today we'll be talking about the ten names of Arjuna. So when uh, the Pandavas were living in Agyatvas, in the Virat Nagar of King Virat of the Matsya Kingdom, at that time uh, Draupadi was uh, coerced by Kichak, who was the brother-in-law of King Virat. So Bhima killed him to avenge Draupadi. And uh, hearing this news, the uh, Kauravas, they thought that this could be the work of only Pandavas. So they attacked Virat Nagar to uh, get the identities of the uh, Pandavas in open so that they could force the Pandavas to go in uh, exile again for 12 years and another one year of in, uh, anonymity. So they also involve uh, uh, the uh, king uh, Susharma of Trigat, who was the brother-in-law of uh, Duryodhan, to fight on one front, and the Kaurav army they would fight on the other front. So first Tri uh, Trigat Naresh, uh, this Trigat king uh, Susharma attacks. So to fight it, all the uh, the king Virat, all his sons, brothers, all his forces, and even the four Pandavas, uh, except Arjuna, they go and fight him on that front, and. Uh, when they are, uh, the forces are so occupied, the Kaurav army, they attack on the another front. At that time, in the, the capital of Viratnagar, no uh, man was there, no soldier, no male was there. All the women and this boy king Uttar and only Arjuna in the form of Brihannala was there. Arjuna couldn't go to the fight earlier because he was in the form of a eunuch. Uh, because he was cursed by Mohini. Uh, to remain unique for a year and he used it to his advantage to live incognito in exile, in this uh, anonymity exile. So, <coughs> he's there and then uh, Draupadi suggests him that you should go and fight the Kauravas because, uh, because this was the kingdom that gave them shelter and it was their duty to protect it. So Arjuna goes there and the boy king Uttar, he boasts that he'll fight all the warriors and all this. He, that was his childish boast. So he, uh, he goes in the battlefield with Brihannala as his charioteer. But when he sees the Kaurav army, he's so frightened because he says that it's like a sea of warriors. So he tries to flee, but Brihannala stops him. And Brihannala says that, don't worry, you don't have to fight. You'll be my charioteer. I'll fight. I am Arjuna. So Uttar... Prince Uttar, he doesn't believe it. So Prince Uttar asks for proof and he says that tell me the ten names of Arjuna and also tell me the meaning. Only then I'll believe. So Arjuna then recites his ten names. So the first one is, is Arjuna. He speaks in this order. So Arjuna, Arjuna is because he has this rare dark complexion. Only few others like uh, Krishna himself, Lord Krishna, and Draupadi and Veda Vyas, they have this uh, complexion. So he was called Arjuna. And then he was called Falguna because he was born under the Uttara Falguni Nakshat. He was called Jishnu because he was incapable of being kept down by his enemies. He was invincible, unconquerable in the battlefield. He was also known as Kiritin. But there is a very interesting story behind this name. This Kiritin, because he was gifted a diadem, a crown by Indra for destroying the Kalkeyas. The Kalkeyas were the Danavas who had a boon that they couldn't be killed by a god. So they frequently used to trouble the Devdas and Devdas they couldn't uh, kill them in return. So when Arjuna went to uh, heaven to learn the science of the weapons, so uh, Indra asked Arjuna to kill these warriors, these uh, Danavas, Kalkeyas and Arjuna accomplishes this feat because he was a mortal. So, quite pleased by Arjuna's feet, Indra gives him a diadem. And this diadem was very special because it was created by Lord Brahma himself for Indra. And that diadem sadly was destroyed in a battle with Karna in Mahabharat war. There's another story. If you request, I'll tell that story also. He was also known as Ashwet Vahana because uh, he, the four steeds, the four horses of his chariot were always pure white. He was called Vibhatsu because he used to fight with honor, following all the rules of dharma in a battlefield. He was also called Vijaya because another, like Jishnu, he was uh, 
like the name Jishnu, he was undefeated in the battlefield. He was never defeated. And he was also called Krishna. This name was given by Pandu, his father, for being dark skinned, like Arjuna. Okay. He was also known as Savya Sachin because he was ambidextrous. That is another interesting. There is another interesting story about his name. He was ambidextrous. He could fire arrows uh, from his Gandiva by drawing the Gandiva with either hands. So he also he used to have two quivers of arrows because he could pull out the arrow from the quiver with either hands. He was that skilled. Only Lord Parshurama, other than Arjuna in the entire Mahabharata and Rama, they are known as ambidextrous, Savya Sanchi. And lastly, he was also known as Dhananjaya because he collected he large tributes from the defeated kings for Yudhishthira's Raj Suya Yagya. Because as you know guys, if you don't know, for Raj, Yudhishthira Raj Suya Yagya, the four Pandavas, they ventured in the four directions of India to defeat the kings so that they would accept the supremacy of uh, Yudhishthira and uh, uh, proclaim him as the emperor of India. Okay. That's it guys. If you want me to make another videos from all from various topics like programming to mythology, Ramayana, Mahabharat, I'll be happy to do it. You just have to leave a comment. Thank you. Have a nice day. Like if you like, uh, like uh, hit like and subscribe my channel. Thank you. Have a nice day.